Hi guys. So I am going to bust out this supplement video. Not probably what I would have liked, but this is what I'm doing because I'm just ready to move on. Um, I do have a test results video I have been working on. It is not going well with the editing. And my concern at this point is that it is just going to get pulled down even if I finish it. So I'm not sure I'm even going to put it up. I might redo it. I'm, it's one of those things that YouTube doesn't like it if we talk about certain things. And even though I would be showing you test results that half of them are um, testing that my doctor ordered, um, I'm not sure they're necessarily going to be okay with that. So I don't know. I'm getting the supplement video out and we'll go from there. This video will show you the spreadsheet I use to keep track of the supplements that I take. I can't honestly say I'm going to remember all of the reasons that I take each one and, and list them off in the video type of thing. I'm basically going to show you the spreadsheet I use. And if that's something that you guys could use, let me know and I'll try and get a template up for that. Um, but keep in mind, I do capsule a lot of my own um, herbs and nutrients. So um, I don't know how useful that would be to other people. Anyway, I'm going to put you on the phone holder and then I will, sh I'm basically going to inventory because I realized I have been forgetting to take my vitamin D. I actually gave some um, what was left to a friend needing it more. I was, uh, I was out in the sun quite a bit um, at that time and then I've been doing my walks at night. So yeah. we're going to jump right in because I've got 32 minutes total that I can film on this phone before I um, am out of space. So I'm going to put you on the phone holder and get busy. So just a brief breakdown. This is my morning basket. This is my afternoon basket and this is my nighttime basket. Okay. So you can see that I've got my spreadsheet up. It is split also into morning, afternoon, evening, and then essentially parts like, <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm kind of trying to use this for inventory now, which I didn't always do, but you know, it's helpful. So, so I've got a section for empty capsules and then the things I add into other stuff as well. I also have a little notes section down here. Now, I'm not sure I've shown you guys this before. This first column is my inventory, which I just added. Then you've got a list of what the item is. Dosage for doctors. <laughs> Basically how much or what size, but like, I can't tell them a double zero capsule and have them actually understand what I'm talking about. So in case you're unaware, most of the time they generally say that like a double zero capsule winds up equating to about 700 milligrams. I'm not sure that actually says it anywhere on here and it doesn't, but that's basically what it typically works out to. You've got the dosage for doctors. That just makes it easy. I can pull this up, hand them my phone, and then the nurse can actually sit there and just verify that they've got the right things. Then I've got the cost, which is, you know, the cost. Um, the amount is whatever it was I bought for that cost. So, like, say I bought two, a bottle of 365 capsules instead of a bottle of 200 capsules. Then I would come in here and, like, say, change that to, I think the one that that's actually going to happen with is vitamin D because I think I had had vitamin D, 2000 IU a day. That's still right. Amount 100. Yeah, no, I bought, I bought 200. Well, they were bottles of 200. And then I'll have to go in and look up how much I paid on that Vitacost order. For that, it was not $3.99. I want to say it was $7.69, but it was on buy one, get one. So it would be $7.69 divided by two should get me about the right amount. Yeah. So, and then I think I had discounts on top of that. So I'll have to, I'll still have to go back in and figure that out. But anyway, um, so that's the cost, the amount, yield in dose or capsule quantity. So that's more for my capsuling stuff. How many capsules am I going to get out of that? And that is definitely a guesstimate. Um, 
you'll notice quite a few of them are 648 and that's for a pound dose that's how many of that capsule i take or for in this case that's an acetal and i take a half teaspoon and what that equates to in milligrams so this dosage thing is basically used mainly for my my capsuling equation so it can count the cost of the capsules actually i guess i've got a capsules needed here so yeah anyway you get what i'm doing here <laughs> cost per dose is basically just what it sounds like it's like how many and then you divide it by the cost and then you times it by how many times a day i'm taking it and um the part in parentheses is probably the cost of the capsules and then how many capsules are needed so um cost per day some things i take more than one capsule per day cost per month very simple just multiply it by 31. um i could do it by 30 or 28. i don't know 31 is going to overestimate or be perfect so i would rather overestimate than underestimate cost per year and i do have a yearly cost down here cost per month cost per year how many capsules are needed per day um then i've got my sourcing as to where i get it what brand because stuff like vitacost or amazon obviously have more than one brand available azure does too please note i am not getting or recommending azure for any supplements because i don't i don't trust their um sourcing at this point honestly some of some of the links are just so i can give you guys links <laughs> for um articles and stuff if i think about it or like i might want to reference some more okay so this first column now i take inositol three times a day one one pound container lasts me i think just under three months so i've got i'm gonna put one pound in here now typically just know that i don't the, I'm working out of these on a daily basis. I'm not necessarily going to sit here and open this one and count how many capsules are in there. I'm counting how many things are over here because these are my backup. Once I move the backup into that, I need to be thinking about getting um, about getting another order in, essentially. Okay, I am going to put one vitamin D in here so I have it for morning. The next thing on my list is rose hips. I did actually weigh these. I've got two different bags. I do go FIFO. However, I also use rose hips. So like I just put those on here and weighed it to find out how much I still had. Um, I know that nine ounces is gonna last me quite some time, so I'm not worried about that. Lemon balm is across the room cause I just got done capsuling it. Like I'll take, I'll take the little moisture absorber things out of other like store-bought capsules and I'll stick them in jars with my capsules, just safekeeping, I guess. Now my lemon balm, this is one that I also put B2 and B5 in on the off chance you guys don't see that I was low in that. I did a micronutrient testing at any lab test now in December and I was low on B2 and B5. So I, I've just, been buying this is b1 um, which i'm not currently taking but i just buy these and then i've got micro scoops one micro scoop of b2 one micro scoop of b5 and that is in addition to my b50 complex that i take at night and yes i do take b50 complex at night right before bed because i found that i was actually falling asleep after i took it in the morning because i had been up all night and decided to get up and then I'd sleep for six hours. So anyway, um, I've got three quarters of a gallon jar. I buy the tea, cut and sifted lemon balm from Vitacost. Um, it more than fills a gallon jar. Um, so, and a gallon jar will last a while. B1. So I'm not actually taking that right now. So I'm going to just do that and X that out or strike it out. I think I'm going to add like a graveyard section to stuff I'm not taking currently. 
B1. I quit taking it. I was not deficient in it when I got that micronutrient testing done. And the reason I was taking it is because this horsetail that I am taking has a tendency to deplete B1. But since it's not actually doing that, I'm not taking it. Berberine. I've got this jar of berberine. This is, a, this is the, I buy it in, in powder form. Okay. And this is what I get. I get it off of Amazon. It's not expensive. And usually there's a 20% off coupon on it. Anyway, I do take that in the afternoon. And then I also take it in the morning. Um, and right now I am taking 500 both places. Now, berberine is one and actually the inositol as well. And the 50 complex is no longer in the morning. So I'm just going to come in here, highlight the entire row, copy, come down here, add a row, and hit paste. Now, this is saying I have two. This is mostly not my stuff. Okay, I've got one extra thing of D3. All right, that was a note to myself because I do have other vitamin D here, but I've got 200 capsules in back stock. And then I can actually delete that entire row because I've just copied it down below. Okay, astragalus root. Nope. I'm not finding astragalus root because it's in my afternoon basket. I haven't updated this in a while. Okay, copy. I'm not pasting into the lowest one because I don't know exactly where my formulas are at and I don't want to screw any of that up. All right, horsetail. I actually, you can see I moved it down to the bottom already. So I'm actually going to delete that one as well. All right, berberine, I've got seven ounces. Okay, this is a seven ounce container for 200 grams. I know I have one completely full, one that I haven't broken into over there ready, ready to be capsuled. Um, and then the vitamin D you just saw, MSM. I do take it, by the way, if you take a bunch of stuff like me, like me, like me do, like I do. Make it fun. Um, this is butterfly wings, but on the bottom I have it labeled. Um, MSM, 500 milligram capsules, take two, size zero. So that tells me the dosage, what capsules I need when I'm gonna do that. I don't actually, <laughs> um, I've got at least six months supply in this jar. So I'm trying to kind of keep things down to a six month supply. I will definitely order MSM next time I put an order in. Okay, horse chestnut has been moved to the afternoon basket. Now, as far as the, oh, as far as why I'm moving stuff around, I hadn't really been taking stuff in the afternoon, but I needed to add in the berberine in the afternoon. When I broke my foot, I'd been having problems with boron I was like seriously deficient in boron when um, I got that testing done in December. It's this one. So I started taking boron. Well, I didn't start. I had been taking boron since the summer. I had been taking one a day. I got my test results back, I think in January. I started two per day. When I broke my foot, I upped it to three per day and I split the doses so that I'm taking one in the morning, two in the afternoon, but I am actually up to two in the morning and two in the afternoon. So I need to make sure that I change my dosage on that. Oh, and see, it's not even in here. So we're gonna come down here, copy, come up here, paste. And then I'm gonna come in. Two in morning, two in afternoon. Now, 
you want to make sure if you're going to be doing stuff like this that you watch how much you should like the max dose that's my reminder to take my nighttime stuff <laughs> so anyway just make sure that you're updating your dosages for the doctors copy i'm going to go right in on top of this and hit paste and i have upped my dosage on that number one i was deficient like i was off the charts deficient on the intracellular testing I had done. That said, it seems to get rave reviews from people with EDS, if you happen to have EDS. Also, this was the thing that was causing me problems, why I seemed to feel like I was having symptoms related to electrolytes. Because boron is used not only for bone and bone health, it's also used for the metabolism of electrolytes. So, all right, have I done everything in this basket? No, I still have... The Super DHA, this is a rather new one for me. I'm actually taking half of this dose, and this was also a deficiency that showed up on that. Okay, and I've got a 500 per day question mark, 1,000 milligrams DHA per serving. Come over here, serving size is two soft gels. I'm taking one, so I'm going to get rid of that question mark. I never upped it. I don't feel any different on it. I'm taking it due to a deficiency and it wasn't a super bad deficiency, so I'm saving a little money there. All right, afternoon. This is my open thing of inositol, and it just sits over by my morning basket. So I do take it, the dosage is right, keep on trucking. This is my next one. This one also says I've got seven ounces backup, so we're good there. I'm no longer taking peppermint. Honestly, I haven't taken peppermint all year, I don't think. But I'm gonna leave it and do the whole graveyard thing, I think. All right, zinc. Do we have zinc? That's B100, I'm not on that anymore. I grabbed the box that had other people's stuff in it. Okay, I didn't do, okay. How much do I have of this in back stock? I've got 240, it says 240. Inositol, I've got one pound. Peppermint, I've got tea form, so I don't really need to know. Um, zinc. The way I've got this divided, I try and keep them together because otherwise I'm looking. But like, so these two are choline, that's chromium. I've got one thing of boron in here, 250, 250, that's accurate. Selenium, horse chestnut, horse chestnut. Vanadium. I know I bought a zinc. It's up here. So I do have zinc. I've got 180, which in case you're unaware is right around six months. So it's up here just because it wouldn't fit in these boxes. Chromium, 300. Astragalus root. This is one I had just finished, so I bought a new bag of it. Still labeling when it came in. Um, I really like this brand. I get them from Vitacost, but you can also find them on their own website. And they have a really good selection of herbs and spices if you just want to use them for cooking as well. So I'm going to go one pound again. Horse chestnut. We have two 120 capsule or tablet bottles. So that's already in there. Boron is 250. All right. And did I get everything that was in here? All right, so I'm going to start at, well, I've got inositol, berberine. I'm just going to have to start at one end of the basket. Okay. <laughs> Chromium, present and accounted for on the spreadsheet. Zinc, present and accounted for on the sheet. Vanadium, not present and accounted for on the sheet. Um, vanadium's another one that I was low on, and... It actually has some interplay with um, boron. So I didn't want to, because I was also in the red on this one and that one, I didn't want to make this one even worse by upping the dosage on that. So, and I only take this one once or twice a week. The inositol taken care of, I've, no, I'm going, I'm going in order of the basket. So chromium, yes. Zinc, yes. Vanadium, I have added that. I will have to look up 
some of the rest of this stuff like and then if like you can see up here if I'm not capsuling it I just put zeros in and it looks like I've got a couple things broken on there so anyway I've got the vanadium on there to remind my doctor I'm taking it um, selenium and my backup bottle is 200 so that's accounted for then I've got horse chestnut and I've got two bottles of that um, that other vanadium bottle that was in the backup stuff is a different type and it's not quite as much so I'll go to that when I run out of the higher dosage because that's a micronutrient you really need small quantities and the hope is that I can start getting more of this from food and I won't necessarily um, as I um, lose weight and stuff I won't need as much of it all right so then the stragglus root I've got quite a few capsuled I just got that new bag of one pound the vanadium the selenium the horse chestnut and the boron all accounted for in the evening, I've got that inositol again, glycine. I am not actually taking glycine right now because I started getting groggy and like just sleeping too much. So that's one I was taking because I was deficient, but then after a while of taking it, I don't seem to need it anymore. Moringa, I bought another bag of that. That is eight and a half ounces. Unfortunately, that is one I was getting from Azure, and I don't know where they're getting it from. It was $12 last time I bought a pound of it. But it's one of those things, it doesn't grow in the region that they're from, and they won't answer questions about where things are farmed, or, you know, if it's really organic, it's just an affidavit. So I am switching to... This is from Superfoods brand. I haven't used them before. They do list it as gluten-free, vegan, USDA organic, non-GMO project verified. I know Star West typically includes a country of origin. Yeah, on the back of this one, it is coming from India. Um, and it lists the nutrients it gives as amino acids, which I was actually low on quite a few of those. Vitamin A, which you guys know I'm typically high in. Calcium, iron, and magnesium. Um, and then it also has recommended uses of one serving per day in smoothies, yogurt, beverages, or baking. I, I do actually capsule it. The things that I... I try to, to do smoothies on a regular basis, but it's very sporadic that I actually do them. Um, so anyway, I do put collagen in those, or collagen peptides, but definitely more on the food adding protein sort of situation okay choline I don't have a dosage in here that is 250 milligrams and that is with inositol 250 milligrams. I'm not really worried about 250 milligrams of inositol. I, I take more than that when I take these, so I'm not real worried about that. Um, so that's the choline. I've got the horsetail. Container is marked. And the 700 is one capsule. Choline. The kelp. I just recently finished that bag, so I've got another bag that I bought as backup. B50 Complex. I picked up a couple things of that, so those are 100 capsules each. So I've got 200. The glycine will go in that graveyard of things I'm no longer taking. And then the Moringa, 1,400 milligrams a day. These are in the 700, so that's two capsules, so that's right. Okay. Oh, and then I bought one container of those. They were not on the buy one, get one. So I'm just going to up that to 2,000 unopened. 
And then you can see I have the B2 and the B5 listed down here. So that is my inventory of, of these supplements and what I take. Like I said, if this would be helpful for you to have the spreadsheet, I will say I do recommend making a key for whatever your system is. So like you can see here, I've got the, the slightly off color in the background. That means I have one year of the herb, but not enough capsules. Bold means I've got one year, I'm good to go. Um, which means I also need to come back up here and do some things because like that should not be bold anymore. I've got six months, I don't have one year. Um, I had trouble getting some things when I was, you know, back, back when things were a bit more scarce, I guess you could say. Oh, I am about to put other people's stuff in a spot they can't readily see it, and that's not good. Um, so yeah, so for a while I was doing one year, but then I wind up with these, like, large quantities of, of product that... I wind up not using um, after a while, so. But I have my I have my spreadsheet updated, and I will actually take the bold off of the MSM. I have two like I'm, the container I am starting of the vitamin D is two hundred, so I do have a year of that, so I'm going to leave that as that, but I highly recommend putting a key in and you can change that. Um, the horsetail has an asterisk and it's down here. Um, just one of those, it's, it's a note. It lets you see what you were doing and why. That's the cost of the capsules. And I added things, so it's no, Not sure what this was doing. This was going for, so like this 28 cents here totals up the morning stuff, the 47 the afternoon stuff. I'm not sure why I did this this way. This is bizarre. Conciseness, people, conciseness. I want, I... 25 to I-32. There. Okay. So I'm currently spending $366.56 per year on the stuff. And, I mean, you can see that I take quite a bit of things, but... And that's actually without costing... The vanadium was only a few dollars... And I haven't taken a few of these things out, so yeah. I would say I am still under $500 a year for all of my supplements, and hopefully as I lose weight, I can reduce that even further. Let me know if you have questions. I will try and answer them in the comments. I do answer everybody's comments. Have a great day. Hopefully I will see you next week.